life of a backup catcher is not an easy one. You usually play once a week, and it can be tough to stay sharp behind the plate. John Pearson caught up with Yankee backup catcher Austin Romine recently, and Romine says he loves the job and the pressures of keeping all of his pitchers on their toes. Yeah, I mean, with starters, every every guy is different. You got five different mentalities, five different approaches to the game, and you really have to learn what they like to do, what their strengths and weaknesses are. And you know, that's what I try and do. I mean, the biggest compliment you can get is when you got a pitcher that wants to throw to you. Um, my job is to get them through as many innings as I can with the best stuff they got. Um, you got to recognize what they have working that day and what's gonna what's gonna help them and benefit them. As the quarterback back there, you know, people talk about the pitching, whether it's starters and then just consistency. Do you see this thing? Getting fixed at some point, too. I mean, yeah, look, baseball, everybody goes through some, some type of thing <laughs> during out the year or a slump. You can put whatever word you want on it, but you know, I, I know the athleticism of this team. I know how good we are, and I know that when we, once we get everything righted back, it, it, it's going to go the way it was. Do you like having all that responsibility of getting, knowing each guy and their personality, what push, button to push and not push? Well, absolutely. I mean, you got to take pride in what you do, and I take a lot of pride in catching and running a game and calling the game and being ready to call a game, doing your, your due diligence and your homework and, and being in a position where you can make your pitchers succeed. For these young guys, a lot of people know what you know CC can do. A Jordan Montgomery and, and a Sebi, what have you seen from them? Talk about each of those guys if you don't mind. Well, I think the consistency that we got from, from Montgomery through that first half was huge. I think it was more than what we thought we were going to get. Um, I mean, I knew how good he was, so it wasn't a big surprise to me. Uh, Sebi, I mean, to come out and do what he did in the first half, I mean, it was it was it was nice to see the two young guys that maybe weren't solidified coming out of out of uh, camp, and then to have them take hold of their role and, and, and really give us consistent starts. And Sevy be lights out, and Monty give us you know a chance to win a ball game every time he goes out to pitch. Expectations of a Yankee, you know, because they're going into the season, people are like, oh, they'll make a run, but next year's the year to watch out for them. All of a sudden, you did what you did. You know, there is no next year; it's this year. And you know, we every year we come out here and put on pinstripes, so you go out to win a ring. Uh, we're trying to do that this year. We try and do it every year. This team is a calm team. It's got a lot of energy from the youth that's been infused in it in the last, you know, year or so. So I mean, we got the right amount of veterans around to to, to keep them level and, and and vice versa. You know, it, it just meshes well. We got a good good bunch of guys that have each other's back, and you know, we're gonna get this right. And we just we got to keep each other's backs and keep grinding.